Okay, so we have Eliza walking around and she can hit people and now the next step in this video we want to make her jump. So <clears throat> to make her jump uh, we want to add her jump animation of course. So to do that I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll copy her stand animation. So we'll select that. jump and we'll click on the jump animation now what's kind of interesting when you're implementing jumping is you probably want to make two animations one will be jump and the other will be fall and the difference is that fall jump is used when somebody presses the jump button and they accelerate upwards and after the jump animation finishes they go into their fall animation uh, now, if somebody just walks off a ledge or whatever, they're just going to go straight into falling. Uh, now, the difference between jump and fall is that fall should only have one, uh, one frame. So it's going to have that one frame, take it to just one, one frame like that, uh, while jump is the whole deal of, of four frames. Uh, so uh, so we, we can see this jump animation playing for us. Uh, it, it doesn't look particularly good right now, but, but that's, that's fine. Uh, so, let's make this actually get used, so uh, what we want to have is when somebody presses the jump button, uh, then, then Eliza will jump. So, we have this, and uh, just as a recommendation, uh, one of the most useful ways to debug Fregato is to use the debug command where, you know, I'm going to type a message here. So this will put the message jumping when the jump button is pressed. So I go over here and press the jump button and we can see that this event is getting intercepted and it's printing the jump button every time I press, uh, press jump. So th that's just very useful if you're if you're not sure if something's working or why it's not, it doesn't have the correct behavior. And what's nice is you can also give it any number of arguments and you can put parameters in. So say we wanted to put her Y position, we would do that and it would actually show us the, uh, the, the variable. Uh, okay, so we want, to, uh, we want to make her jump when we, uh, when we do this. Uh, but for her to be able to jump, her, uh, her animation, she should be standing. Uh, if if she wants to jump, and I'll do the same thing that I did before, where instead of equaling, I'll make it in a list, so we can add more animations if there's other animations that she could jump uh, jump from. Uh, so she has to be standing to be able to jump, uh, and so that already means that she'll be she'll be on solid ground, uh, and so we'll go set animation. So we try that, and she goes into the jump. Uh, of course, it uh, it it, uh, it doesn't really do anything other than change her animation, which isn't exactly what we want. Also, I notice actually this has the reverse flag, which we don't want. We just want the jump to go forward, not backwards, as well uh, as does this. Uh, now, what we want is uh, is when she jumps. Uh, well, firstly, if she falls, uh, when she lands, she should uh, she should go into her uh, her standing animation. So uh, that is done with on collide feet, and if we get on collide feet we want to so on collide feet is the event that's fired when the bottom of a uh, of the sprite collides with the ground so on collide feet we uh, set her animation to stand uh, so uh, so that should work uh, but we also have to uh, uh, we, we have to make her jump uh, actually give her some upwards momentum. So I'm going to start by making it so when she goes into her jump it gives her like negative uh, 2000 uh, uh, velocity y and I have no idea if that's right. Uh, and to kind of kick this off because we have her in this uh, in this state where she is at the end of her jump animation. 
uh, which which isn't uh, isn't really what we want. So I'm just gonna uh, go into the uh, to the debugger by pressing Control D uh, and put set animation to uh, make her stand again. And I do that, and she goes back to standing. And so the debug is useful if if you get anything into a into a bad uh, situation like this, because uh, normally normally that 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 shouldn't happen. Uh, by editing our code, we got that to happen, and we need to kind of recover and get her back to standing. Uh, so we'll make that go away. And now when she jumps, because I've added this velocity thing, uh, it should give her some Y velocity. Uh, so let's see if that works. So yep, she goes up, and then because we have this on collide feet thing, when she lands again, she she goes back to standing. So uh, so this jumping actually seems to work, which is nice. Uh, and actually, uh, I realize a mistake I made already that I can't jump from a uh, from her uh, from her walking animation. So this uh, control jump should be in stand, or if she's in walk. Uh, she should also be able to jump. So yeah, this this works also. Okay, so so now the jump actually works. Uh, it does have a few problems. Uh, for one thing, it would be nice if she could actually move, like uh, like if she's walking and then you you keep trying to move. Uh, she doesn't really keep any of her momentum. Uh, and then another problem uh, is that we, most platformers, you like it if you can kind of tap the jump to not jump as high uh, or press it harder to, to jump further. Uh, and this doesn't really do that. So what we're going to do is, firstly, we're going to say that on end, when we finish jumping, uh, we will set the animation to falling. And because this isn't something that's going to be completely obvious that it happens, this is an example of where I'll use debug to say fall, so that we can make sure that when uh, when we jump, it goes into the fall. So we can see that, and it's interesting that it's about at the peak of her jump at the moment, we can see uh, she changes to falling. Okay, so we can remove this, this debug here. Uh, now, what we can do is, firstly, let's see if the... So I think this jump animation could play a little bit faster. So mm, okay, let's do that. Now, the way that uh, that you can make your uh, the way you can make your platformer uh, have the effect where where you just tap the jump uh, and and it doesn't jump very high is we make this y velocity much much less. So let's make it negative 1200 and this should give us a sort of a tap jump so that's a very small jump now uh now what we want is that when they're holding down the jump uh and while we're in the jump animation as long as the jump is held it will give her some extra uh extra velocity so what we're going to do is we're going to go uh on process jump i'm going to say if control jump so if the jump button is pressed we're going to add to velocity y uh and we'll add I, I don't know what a good value is so i'm going to try something out here negative 50 uh and see how that works okay so we can see that that makes her jump a little higher uh let's change it to negative 100 and see how that works out okay so that's probably a little too high uh but we can see that it definitely works this is if i hold it down and this is if i tap it so let's make it like negative uh, 70. So that's a high jump. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Uh, well, negative 80. Okay, I kind of like that. Uh, we can see that she jumps, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, she jumps five, uh, five squares high, which is it's quite high. Uh, okay, so. Uh, next, we want to make it so that she can actually move in midair. So what we want to do is uh, is we want to make it so while we're processing jump or fall, uh, so we we'll put this in on process. So we'll say that. And we want her to be able to turn while she's jumping too. At the moment, 
uh, the arrow keys are completely unresponsive and she can't turn or anything while she's uh, she's jumping. So uh, we'll say if animation is in jump or if it's in fall, then and we'll have two independent commands. I think that's going to be easiest. Uh, one for control left and one for control right. So if control left, then we will uh, set her facing to negative one if it isn't already. And then we will uh, we will give her some uh, X. Uh, we will sort of manually give her some X acceleration here. So I don't know what a good value is. Let's uh, do negative 50. And... Then we will do something similar for right. We will okay. Uh, and let's close that bracket there. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, just a nice new feature is that if there's an error, we can mouse over the error, and it actually tells us. Uh, tells us what the error is, so we can mouse over and it actually tells us that, you know, on line 10 there's an unmatched bracket, so uh, I, I need to type that in and then we can see that everything is okay now. Okay, uh, so let's try this out. Okay, so I can actually make a move and turn while jumping. The effect is probably a little bit too dramatic right now, uh, so let's turn that down to, say, 40. And yeah, I think that's quite reasonable. Okay. So that is that is Eliza jumping. Uh, jumping looks like it, it works completely. Uh, and she can she can jump and use her attack. Uh, we would probably like some different graphics for her attack when she's jumping, but uh, but we don't currently have those. Uh, so so we're just gonna go with this for now. Uh, so the one other thing I wanna do is make